Okay guys, hello and welcome back to another Colour Just 1, 2, 3 video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to bridge uh, the Wi-Fi from your router downstairs or wherever you have yours to your laptop and then over to your Pi. My router is currently downstairs next to my big computer uh, which is over the other end of the house so I can't really drag an Ethernet cable between them and I don't have an Ethernet cable that's long enough to do so anyway. Uh, I wouldn't have one of the little yellow ones but basically all you do is you plug the um, Ethernet cable that you have, the little small one, to the Ethernet port on your laptop and then into your Raspberry Pi. Now what you can do is you can head over to Run or, or the box at the bottom here. Uh, if you run XP you just, just head over to Run and you can do it there. But what we want to do is we want to type in Network Connections. network connections and then there'll be one there called view network connections so we'll just go over to that and you'll notice you'll have your network connections so if you're like me and you like to host little rubbish minecraft servers uh, you'll have Hamachi um, then you'll have the middle one or local area connection with a little picture of the LAN there that will be um, your connection to your Raspberry Pi and then you'll have your Wi-Fi or your um, or your your connection here so I've got Wi-Fi there so what you do is you hold right click uh, sorry you click on your uh, Wi-Fi that will select it hold down control and click on local area connection or or the uh, the Ethernet cable to your Raspberry Pi one right click on the uh, local area connection and hit bridge connections and this little notification will come up saying please wait till your um, things are bridged connections are bridged you'll see that this pops up this network bridge and it will connect identify and then connect again um so there we go that's it so that's it now bridge so you can see in the bottom corner here we have our little thing here uh telling us that we've actually bridged it instead of having the wi-fi streamed straight to the PC. This will slow down your um, PC internet speed so if you uh, are on that you know just be um, very careful. So say I wanted to select a new video see that's that's not too slow it's because my internet's quite quite fast but basically um, yeah so say we head over to the Raspberry Pi website for example when loading up a new web page it does take a wee while. There we go see it's still loading but basically, yeah, so that's what it is. Now, I'll take you over to the Pi and I'll show you how to access your internet. Uh, basically, it's a Midori web browser and there's another three as well. So, that is that. Thank you for watching. If you have right, okay, so once you've set up your wireless bridge, what you need to do is you need to then reboot your Pi. I'll just plug mine in just now. And we'll let that load for a little bit and uh, enter username and password. As you can see, it'll probably configure. There we go, it's just configured the Ethernet as a sort of fly pass, very, very fast. Um, it'll configure the Ethernet, it will have a look, get some um, get some information from the from the, the Wi-Fi, um, and then we bring us to the login, login thing, and then we can start up Midori and have a look at that. So I'll enter my username and password. So of course I haven't changed because I just installed a new image, so... So there we go, that should start up and then we just start X and that will bring us to our little um, home screen. Our virtual world of imagination. We'll go ahead and we'll open up Midori which is a default browser um, for Raspberry Pi and this should now load up. There we go, it's loading. It does take a wee while once it's booted um, to sync everything. But here you go, so this is your internet, now you can head over to Google, do whatever, so let's, let's go into Google. There we go, let's let that load up. Have I clicked it? Yes, I clicked it. There we go, there's Google. We can go on uh, YouTube. I don't know if this plays YouTube videos, the Raspberry Pi yet. Yet, I see yet. 
Um, hit OK. Alright, so basically that's how to uh, link your, uh, that's how to bridge your um, PC internet over to your Raspberry Pi or to any other games console or whatever else you need to bridge, bridge to. Um, so that's basically that. Um, if you have any questions, just put them in the comments. Um, if you want to know more information about Raspberry Pi, I'll put a link to their website in the description. You can go and check that out. Here's the Pi itself down here. Uh, looking mighty fine. I'm going to buy a case soon and I'm getting a Wi-Fi adapter so I won't have to, to bridge it um, because it's annoying having to keep the PC on whilst you're doing this because it wastes two batteries so instead of one. So I will be buying um, a Wi-Fi adapter and some other stuff. Does this play videos? That's a very good question. Let's have a look and see if it plays videos. Probably need to download some plugin or something, I don't know. Missing plugin. What's my missing plugin? But anyway, so yeah, that's um, that's how to link it up. As you say, um, subscribe if you want to see more like this. Um, and um, leave a like if you liked the video, or share it if you want to to find out how to. Um, if anyone else wants to find out, uh, just put it on your Facebook or whatever. Um, let them know. Spread the news. And goodbye. See you.